All right, today on College Talk TV, I'll be talking about how I feel about our government or politicians trying to um, place blame on mass shootings and try to um, have a connect link with uh, violent video games, which to me is sort of, you know, that's, that's complete BS, you know. Um, if you think about it, uh, there's what maybe forty thousand um, gun-related deaths every year, or homicide deaths, gu hom gun-related homicide deaths in this in the United States every year, right? And we have about three hundred million people. Japan has pro has a, has a higher game game gamer per capita, and their population is uh, one hundred and thirty million people. So let's just say it's, let's just ha ha say one third, right? Their gun-related homicide is only around twenty or thirty a year, and we have over 40,000 so when people want to try to um, say oh the reason that there's all these shootings because these kids are playing video games no that's 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 crazy because first off um, there's there's been so much um, evidence that shows that video games don't cause violence I mean if somebody who is already crazy and you know is thinking about shooting up a school or doing something in that nature and they play video games, uh, yeah, it might affect them, but hey, they're already crazy, you know, like most, 99.999999% of people who play video games are not going out to go, like, you know, they're not, they don't want to, they're not going to go out and reenact what they see in a, um, a video game, because that's the case, and why don't we, you know, have the same, uh, why don't we say the same about movies and music, so, um, video games to me is one of the highest art forms as a, us as a society can have because if you think about it um, or, or even books I think video games are better than books because if you look at um, a video game like Skyrim and you can do you can make up your own story I mean you can literally write a book and there's books in the game that you can read it's so much lore in the game that it's crazy how much detail they put in it and and then you know you read a book and you have to follow what the author wants to you know the story to be but when you, when you uh, we have a game such as Skyrim, which is a role-playing game. I mean, you can make up your own course. It's open world. Do whatever you want. You can be an outlaw or, a, or you know, a um, vigilante and kill all the bad guys or, you know, kill all the good guys. It doesn't matter. Um, so it's and it's just so much more interesting. But back into the um, video games and guns debate. Uh, I also think that people don't want to point the finger at, you know, oh, maybe we have too many guns in this country. You know, there's two hundred, there's 850 million uh, private-owned guns in this world that are like that the mil that the world's military is not own, right? It's a private citizen's own. 850 million. Out of those 850 million, uh, there's about 270 to 280 million guns um, that are America, Amer that Americans own that are not used for our military so if you think about it one out of I mean wait nine out of every ten people have a well not it's a lot of people just have more guns but if if we gave we would have enough guns to give um, nine out of every ten people so maybe that's the maybe we have too many guns and also there's so many loopholes and um the ways you can get a gun. I mean, I watched on YouTube. Uh, There's this um, YouTube channel called Vice TV where they showed uh, you just uh, in Florida. You just call a person up, have them sign a paper, and you know, like or you just you can like look on Craigslist or a, a gun a gun website that's similar to Craigslist, and you know you just hey say let's meet here and there. Um, say oh this gun looks good. Um, sign up sign a um, a transfer of. Um, ownership form or something like that and you're good to go so I mean there's no mental evaluations or nothing like that you know they don't this person can be a convicted felon you don't know I mean it's just it's just so easy and you know when Obama who I think is personally conservative um, or any other Democrat tries to bring up even a thought of you know a little bit more gun control the NRA who is a crazy crazy right-wing radical group um, you know, says, oh, they're going to go, the Obama Gestapo soldiers are going to go kick down doors and um, yeah, slap you around and take your guns away. And you know, and there's going to be some sort of martial law pretty soon. And he's going to have people, <laughs> you can't go out past like 11. It's like they believe these crazy tits, like skits, like tits, like, oh, uh, I, I don't even want to even get started on like the uh, 
the radio show host who feed them this nonsense, but it's sort of sad, but then it's sort of pathetic that people can believe this. But hey, I guess in America, you know, uh, you know, half our country might, you know, believe uh, the planet is 6,000 uh, years old. So, you know, what else can they be fooled into believing? So, but that's a different subject. But, um, but if you are a politician, and I mean, I, I'm sure they're not watching this, but if you, I mean, if if you can write to your politicians, just say, you know, stay away from video games. Um, if you if don't don't try to point the finger and bl and uh, shift the blame to something else. Um, the reason there's so many shootings is because it's so easy to get guns in this country. You can get a gun fast, and you can get a book in in, in America. And I mean, I know that's not the case for you know every state, but I, it seems like where most of these places happen at. Um, well. Maybe there's some exceptions. Well, on average, it seems like most of these places happen in states where the gun laws are very laxed or whatever. And I mean, and also just looking at like different crime statistics in major cities in America. I mean, there's I mean there was what 22 people or 22 or it was 27 people who died at the uh, Sandy Hook school shooting. I mean, there's some cities in America where like in Chicago there might be 400 homicides in a year. And I don't see people, you know, there's I don't see national attention for that. That's 400 people, and you know it's sad that so many people are dying so violently. But um, I guess you know when people want to use the Second Amendment or our founding fathers, intending us to, uh, you know, we can have the right to bear arms. I mean, where does that stop it? I mean, I like guns like the nice person, but you know I feel like there should be some, you know restrictions or like we should have it such as maybe the same way we have uh cars with driver's licenses and stuff um if you want to own a gun every year you have to go get evaluated and, and you know checked up and have an exam and stuff like that so you know you make sure you're still competent and i think that should be the case and i think that you know people like i mean i know it's it never going to happen but i feel like every gun should be registered into a national registry so you know, not private, like, you know, not private citizens can you know who owns a gun, but at least the government can, you know, at least keep track of who owns a gun. So, in the serial numbers, and if someone kills somebody, you know, we can trace back, you know, why this person get a gun. Because a lot of times criminals steal guns or whatever, and, you know, maybe the person just sold it to them without, you know, even thinking about um, any repercussions. So, I feel there's a lot more issues into gun violence in this country and I don't have I think is is there's no relation to violent video games and I want to end off with that point have a nice day